Hi there! Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to clone in Adobe Premiere Pro. A couple people asked how I did this uh, when I did a quick Twixter edit for this clip right here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate as to how I did it. So now I have my three little clips here. Just did the jumps right after each other because I didn't want anything with the lighting or anything changing about the, the video. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag them right on to ah, stupid me, right on top of each other. And uh, now this is actually probably a little bit more simple than you might think. All it is is right here. Let me give you that linear wipe. This is a uh, quite simple thing to do. Drag it on the uh, top clips because the bottom is just going to be sitting there raw. You only have to cut these out to allow you to see the other ones if that makes any sense it'll be self-explanatory soon now we first go to the top one in order to be able to see the bottom one when we move the uh, transition over here which is right here the transition you can just drag it up and it will automatically bring this slider thing you can kinda see it across the screen and you can bring it right here right now you see both of them now we can come down to 122 or you know just whatever your clip is and move the transition on this so we can slide this over and see that. Now here's the difficulty. You see this pole here? Let's come through. It's a little bit, um, I, you can see how it kind of goes into, it's not, it's not perfect, which is why what you really want to do when you're doing this kind of stuff is make sure that everything in the background or anything like that is not moving while your video is going because it could really, really mess it up with the transition and also you do not want these people to interact which is what I had a bit of trouble with here let me show you what I did uh, you can't hardly see it but right in front of my head the guy in the middle uh, the transition wipe is moving over to the right to give me room and it's like right in between them you can see his el my elbow uh, on the very right is a little bit faded out but you know what can you do that is all by just going through here in the wipe angle and just transitioning everything through there. Oh man, I just messed it up for that. Anyways, now just to finish this off, all you have to do is use a little bit of feathering because of course uh, it's kind of easy to uh, see the line some places. Now here's the deal. You do not want to feather this out you know, like crazy because then you can see that. You can see it kind of mm, changing the opacity on the people making them fade so I would usually go around with like 15 unless you have like a, uh, and a like a huge amount of room in between them uh, I just go with something a little bit lower so let me just feather that up but not too much let's see I'll just, I'll just leave it around here anyways guys so that's basically the basics of all this nothing much to it simple as that and there you go, you know, just, sorry, it's really laggy, I'm just kind of scrolling through it, and with this recorder going, that's difficult. Anyways, I hope that helped enough, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I will see you all next time. Later, everyone.